Hey y'all, Coach Fai here, talking about what happened in 2020. Now, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that we have been watching the Daniel chapter 12 prophecy for almost a year now. In fact, in the year 2020, we put up about a dozen videos talking about how that prophecy would be fulfilled in the year 2020. But it appears as though I was wrong. And in this video, I'm going to show you why and how I got it wrong. Now, first of all, I have to remind you guys, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a seer. I'm not a psychic. I'm just an engineer who reads the Bible way too much for any normal person. And in my reading, it appeared to me that that blessing that Daniel was talking about in chapter 12 would be fulfilled in December of the year 2020. Now, I feel blessed. But as I'm looking around the rest of the world, I can't say that everybody on the planet or even all of our father's people received a blessing. So I had to go back in and relook at those calculations. And I did find a couple of errors. And in this video, we're going to discuss what those errors were. And it boils down to something really, really simple. In fact, let me jump over here to a couple of these videos and you should see my error really, really quickly. Now, in one video called 2020 Daniel 12 Prophecy Revealed, I said this. Now, jumping over here to a diagram that I get from the timeline of human history, we see that this actually happened in the year 606 BC. And I have to admit, this part is not genuine information. It's well known or well recognized that the years of captivity for the Israelites lasted from 606 to 536 BC. Now, the last time I did a video on the year 2020, I got some pushback on the 606 BC date. Like I said, it's not original. This is commonly understood information. But since I was challenged, I had to go in and try to do a little more research on my own. And that research confirmed the 606 BC date. I've gone in and looked at many of these websites here on Google, looking at the Babylonian captivity 606 BC. I've looked at several of these websites, but they only confirmed that the 606 date is actually correct. So let's go on. So it's clear that my error was that I was depending on man's historical information in order to calculate the timing of this prophecy. See here on this slide how I summarized that calculation. Matter of fact, let's walk through this right quick. If you come over to the book of Daniel and chapter 12, you see that Daniel is talking about this blessing that we are supposed to receive sometime in the future. In fact, Daniel actually tells us the exact timing of that blessing. You see right there in verse 11, he says, And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Well, if we come over to Daniel and chapter 1, we can see when he's talking about. Verse 1 says, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. This is talking about when Nebuchadnezzar came in to destroy Jerusalem. Verse 2 says, And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, with the parts of the vessels of the house of God. These are the daily sacrifice which he carried into the land of Shinar to the house of his God. This is what Daniel was talking about in chapter 12 when he says the time that the daily sacrifice was taken away. It was Nebuchadnezzar during that time, during the third year of Jehoiakim, that the daily sacrifice was taken away. And what he's saying here is that if you start at that date and add 1,290 years, you'll see the abomination that maketh desolate. So what year was that? Now, as part of my library, I have these two books here. One is called The Time Chart of Human History, and the other is called The Time Chart of Biblical History. So these two books actually show the history of mankind. 
with the difference being that the one on biblical history ends with the Messiah and the one on the world history ends with President Obama. They both start with the creation of Adam and step through history given the dates and the times of events that took place. Looking closely here, you can see the time in which Noah got off the ark with his three sons and how closely that's related to the time of the Tower of Babel. Well, anyway, when we step through history, we come to the time of Nebuchadnezzar and you see here that it's saying that the time of the captivity started in 606. And when I went to the internet, to confirm this information all over the web, it says 606 as well. So I use that date 606 in my calculation. Now, I will give credit to one of the viewers, Music for Life, that actually tried to point out my error. He was trying to tell me that the 606 date was incorrect and it should have been 605. But at the time, I will admit that it was hard for me to take his word for it over all of the historical documents that said 606. But since then, I've gone in to actually look and there's almost as many websites and encyclopedias that say that Nebuchadnezzar's reign started in 605 as there are ones that state that his reign started in 606. And looking back over at my summary of information, you see how important that date was in the calculation. So my error was trusting in man's word when I should have relied on the scripture alone. And that brings me to the second error, which is along the same lines. And that's talking about the first coming of the Messiah, that date in which he was baptized it's commonly understood that that date was in 26 AD. And so I used that date in my table that consists of the timelines given in the scripture for all of the biblical leaders from Adam all the way up to Nebuchadnezzar. I'm going to give you guys this information in the description and in the comment section of this video so you can review it. And what it is is... The information given in the scripture from Genesis, the book of Jasher, the book of Jubilees, 1 Kings, and 2 Chronicles for all of the dates in history. Starting off with the times in which the forefathers begat their sons and ending up with the reign of the kings. Turns out the Bible has all of the information we needed in order to find out when Nebuchadnezzar started his reign. But we just have to start off with the correct dates. And the year 26 was actually not correct at all for the first coming of the Messiah. When I did my research, turns out there was a gentleman named Shur who is responsible for that year 26 date. And just like just about everything else man has done, he got it wrong. Well, thank the Lord, Luke chapter 3 tells us the year in which the Messiah was baptized. You see here it says in the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar. At the risk of making a similar mistake, I have to come over to Britannica.com to find out that the reign of Tiberius Caesar started in 14 A.D. And if you add 15 years to that, you don't end up in the year 26 A.D., you end up in the year 28 A.D., in the fall of 28 A.D. And so let's come back over to this table and where we have 26 A.D. with all of the biblical information provided after that, we see the reign of Nebuchadnezzar in 607. But when you put the corrected information in there that date changes to 605 so in other words I could have relied on biblical information alone in order to come up with the reign of Nebuchadnezzar so my error was allowing man to have input when our father gave us everything we needed in order to make this calculation 
and like I said I plan to give you all this information in the description and in the comment section so you can go in and help me verify that is correct what you'll see there is a table that looks similar to this where it gives you the name of the person and the years in which they reign as well as the scripture in which I get that information so when we put the correct year in here let's see how the dates of this prophecy changes so now let's come back over to the book of Daniel and chapter 12 where he says from the time that the daily sacrifice was taken away to the abomination that maketh desolate set up there will be 1290 days and we understand that to be years a day for a year when we put in 606 BC plus 1290 years plus one year because there was no year zero we end up in the year 685 but when we change it to 605 BC we end up in the year 686 AD and whereas we understood already that that abomination that maketh desolate was pointing to the dome of the rock well it turns out that the dome of the rock was started to be built in 685 but it was actually completed in 686 and just as a tangent some of you are aware of the 666 prophecy in Revelation and how many think it is actually supposed to be 616 instead of 666 well I think we need to look a little bit closer at that to see if it could possibly be 686 because the dome of the rock is obviously the abomination that maketh desolate but we'll save that for another class so let's come back over to Daniel in chapter 12 what he was telling us in verses 11 is from the time that Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem and took all of the daily sacrifice away all of those gold instruments and silver instruments he took into Babylon if you calculate 1290 years from that date you end up with the dome of the rock or the abomination that make it desolate being set up on that same temple mount and when you look at verse 12 it's the promise of a blessing that would come 1335 years after that it says blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the 1305 and 30 days well when you come and add those 1335 days you end up in the year 2021 now again I'm not making a prophecy or a prediction I'm just doing the math according to the information that we have been given so I just wanted to point that out what happened in the year 2020 and we'll clean up all of this information and we'll be presenting more videos on this as we go as the father reveals more information to us so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see when those videos come out and remember to look for that table in the description so that you can help verify this data that we're given if I'm making a mistake please point it out to me just add it to the comment section down there so everybody can see and give you credit for any errors that you find and with that I'm gonna say Shalom